Hello and welcome to Crusader Kings 2 Holy Fury with the Kingdom of Germany, the Empire of Germany and the war against the world, which I accidentally started last time. That's fine, we're gonna win it. I hope. I can go berserk if I wanted to. I need to take this guy down. Also, the Byzantine Empire is right next to me. Have to do something about that as well. Go here. I'm kind of running out of money. Did you win your war? That was kind of unfortunate for you. We can wait a little bit. Now march. Another apostate. Well, she's gonna die anyway. Let's see if we can ransom her. Good. Good. My scribes have provided me with the last draft of my book. Upon reading it, I am not convinced it is moving in the right direction. I could perhaps ask Prince Theodorich of Germania to advise me on the matters. If nothing else, he is likely to feel flattered by it. Do it. Well, you're looting, so I don't care. Also, you don't have enough troops to take me down. I'm gonna have to take this guy out. Now. Okay. Where? Go here, because... <laughs> because we need to protect our lands. Or at least the war go, until the war ends, and I have been appointed as your region, because I'm in the final months of my pregnancy. Okay. So, you guys converted to Germanic. Good for me. A dangerous revolt has broken out in Italy. Fight that for me, would you? Okay. There goes the Regency. Ruprecht. And an old Germanic uprising. What the hell's going on? The studies you have concluded in your observatory have convinced you that there are many strange things beyond the known cosmos. There are few sources, no one to share knowledge with you. However, you have heard of a strange old doctor in the Arabian desert who is rumored to possess a vast knowledge of the world. Go and seek him out. Okay, there goes one of the revolts. Down you go. Okay, don't go there. Move right here. Need to attack the Byzantines. Interesting. What again? Fine. Let's ransom you once more if we can. I'm also taking the center again, because why wouldn't I? I really have no need for this land. I might as well release it at some point. I don't even know why I have it. Okay, this is for me, thank you. A 
and another great defeat, why wouldn't there be? The Necronomicon, you arrive at the abode of a strange old scholar, Ibrahim. After some persuasion, he invites you in. You speak at a length and tells you of a scholar, Abdu the Mad, who knew many things of the strange spheres beyond and talking about being that are not human. You find out that Abdu the Mad wrote a book called the Nepro Necromonicon, in which he recorded many strange unholy truths. Ibrahim says that he is impressed by the sincerity and desire for knowledge. He can sell you a copy of the book. He tells you to bow, to beware, however, as too much intense study of the Necronomicon is said to drive many readers insane. I want it, please. Okay, we are actually winning this, sort of. Stay there and wait for them to arrive. So, Byzantium, you are attacking me and me alone. Oh, look, my half-brother just grew up. And he became Rowdy. Nice. Oh, Byzantines, you are so gonna die for this. Your vassal is arguing with her husband. We just got married. Oh, wait, that's a different one. Let's intervene. And she now owes me a favor. Great. Okay, let's kill you. Usurp the title. A 3,000 men just died. And I can advance in the ranks of the Wolf Warriors. Great. It was the Wolf Warriors, right? Yes. Q. Yeah, that went well for you. Next, you. Surrender. Good. And I'm a warrior now. Could go berserk and warrior training. Let's get the next level of legalism. Administration, viceroys. I can go with kingdoms. You know, I. I... Well, I guess there's nothing else I can do. Go ahead. The viceroy kingdoms are now enabled. All we have to do now is revoke them one by one. You, I revoke your title. He's gonna say yes. Cool. You wanna do this? Very well. Since you're looting my land, I will show you no mercy whatsoever. I need to take this guy out as well. You want to betroth yourself to my son. Are you bloody insane? You do have consorts and bastard children. Marry your lover. Okay, what to do with you? Let's go with struggle. Are you my firstborn? Well, technically, yes. My firstborn son, but it's my son. Take him out. That's why you're here. Why don't you take command here? And you guard the flanks? And you help with whatever you can. Come on. Why so much attrition? My victory. Good. Now go here. Wait for them to challenge you once more. Let's end this war. Good. And let's kill these guys.
Working in your observatory, you are often disturbed by strange noises and commonly ride large creatures carrying away smaller pieces of equipment and odd human-like figures spying on you and then disappearing into the night before you can confront them. You really struggle to maintain concentration and get anything done. Focus. Gain stress. Well, it was about time. I mean, we had so many opportunities to gain stress. Okay, so I gained one diplomacy and one learning. Does everything here have to be in... Damn attrition. How many troops can you support? 6,000. Great. Surprised you didn't capture a single one of them. 75%. I think once we clear out those sieges, I'll be fine. 80. Okay, here we can actually be safe from the attrition. 88. Yeah, go away. I don't want you anymore. I guess I am at war with you as well. Go here. Oh, for the love of... Will you stop getting pregnant? You're fighting in a war. That's 95. Just 5 more percent. We should do it. Hurry up, I don't want to waste any troops on you. 20, 21. Go ahead. Okay, you can become an amazing warrior. That's 99%. And that's 100. Excellent. And peace was introduced at last. You, my boy, deserve a memo for yourself. Oh, finally. Okay. Who are you? Well, my spy master is at least doing stuff. 8,000 troops. We killed half of your vassals, I guess. It honestly doesn't matter. So, can I revoke the title of Germany? No. Denmark? No. Bohemia. Why not? Oh, because you're in a non-aggression pact with me. Okay. Let's start with you. He will hate me, kind of. Do it. Also, I need to revoke this title as well. Especially for me. Okay, you can have this kingdom. He still likes me. So how old is this guy? 54. And this one is... come on. 24. Okay, I'm going to revoke that. Barbarian. There you go. He said yes. Revoking your title. 
Revoking your title. No, wait, he is Germanic, so no. But I am revoking yours. Pomeranian. Still Germanic, so those two. He still doesn't like me much. Okay, you're the Duke of all of Cilicia. And you really, really likes me, because um, I transport quite a lot of vassals to you. Now, the only one I have problems with is Germany, which is unfortunate. And Iceland, maybe? No. The Duke of Iceland actually loves me. Okay, what's your name again? And how old are you? 28 and you are 9. 28 and 9. Huh. There you are. And there you are. You're Lombard and married to this German boy. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Let's transfer some vassalages to you. By the way, internal and external war. What do I need for that? Imperial administration. I mean, sure. Okay, how many people do I have? Wait, are you part of Germany? No. No worries, I'm gonna fix it all. This guy, I have no idea why you're free. Oh, that's Kion. He's Frankish, my blood. Could revoke his title. No one's gonna care. I could give you Verona. Right. And you are? I don't know. Right here. I'm sure. The Kingdom of Corinthia. Okay, what's left? Not bad. A little bit of board go here because I wanted this one to be kept by you, but whatever, you, you can live with that. 
You're my marshal, congratulations, and you are my spy master. You just spread the technology here. I need you to convert everything here. And I know there is someone actually who is better than you, but whatever. That's still my mother, right? Yes, she is 61-year-old pretty woman, so cool. Commander, you, come on. And my consort. Mm, sure, he's down, might as well die in battle. Throne of the Sea. The Falkyrian Crown. Ah, I get it, because I'm actually... The owner of the Valkyret, otherwise I will be a Kaiser, or Kaiserin in this case. So we have a quality 3 armor, quality 4 crown, quality 3 axe, quality 2 golden sword. No, I can't actually search for a smith. I need to loot some more provinces in order to gain my lost gold back. The slow fever is spreading like a plague. I guess no wonder they call it epidemic. Go here. Okay. Pause. Okay, what to do with you, what to do with you. can offer vassalization. Why don't you offer him vassalization? Great holy war for this. It's kind of early. Are you special interest to me? Yes. Okay, don't care about you anymore. Or you, for that matter. You're kind of important, you're my friend, already a queen. I have no idea why you're important, but whatever. So we have the Kingdom of England and the Kingdom of Scotland, also the Kingdom of Ireland. When was Ireland created? Oh, he created it. 66. Cool. Do you have a bloodline or anything? Yes. A legendary high king of Ireland and founder of the Iwi Nari dynasty. During his rule, he won several battles against the Saxons, the Scots, the Gauls, and even the Romans. Pagan Pagan. <laughs> Since the dawn of history, both Europe and the Middle East have has, has been home. Shouldn't be have. Have been homes to countless pagan religions and cults, unrelented to the Abrahamic faiths. High God, the Creator, God names, spirits and ancestors, evil God names, the dark spirits, and Scripture, the legends. Cool. So he died January 450 at the age of 50, which means he was born the 400s. Not bad, not bad at all. Hmm. Yes, I know you don't like me, but you're completely incompetent. Why would I actually hire you to be a counselor? So you took the right throne. He's still not part of the coalition. I could snipe him. 
and someone looted his holdings. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. You just have my vassals, right? They should be sufficient. And they won't cost me a dime. Actually, I'm losing money. I think it's because the war ended before the month ticked. The book you brought from the strange desert, Scour, has proven quite useful for gaining new ideas and insights in your studies of the stars and what lies beyond. It does, however, contain some quite disturbing texts and images, things that lead towards a level of understanding that might make one mad, shall we say. Oh, should I? What does that do? Lunatic. Attraction opinion, vessel opinion, same trade opinion. I didn't get it. I guess because I was pregnant, that means my baby is gonna be a lunatic. It's gonna be quite ironic if that's true. You want them to marry matrilineally. Very well. Trying to convert this. Converted quite a lot, haven't we? Okay, let's run some some people. We have twenty two prisoners. Good. We have a court position. Oh. Was that my region that I needed to assign? It's fine. What are you good at? Well, you're alive. So you can become diligent. Do it. Next time, maybe. As I snuck into the kitchen for a usual night snack, I chanced upon Chief Barmudo. We've been chatting and laughing for hours, but the words have grown softer and our hands are touching. Suddenly he leans and whispers softly in my ear. No! What the hell's wrong with you, man? So much easier to manage your tidings when you actually have only four kingdoms to worry about and not millions and millions of holdings. Speaking of which... Yeah, I need to do this at some point. Oh, good. By the way, what do I need to go to Imperial? Cannot change laws during Regency, I don't care about that. Vassal limit goes up. Majesty is greater or equal to five. Oh good, now I know what I actually need to do. And I had a daughter. Please become good. You shall be my regent from this point on. Okay guys, everyone, I need you here. That's 14,000 troops. We're gonna start looting. Basically everywhere. I need at least a thousand in reserve. We can celebrate. Why do I have this option? It's not married. Wait, I'm married? I am, so... I have six children. Anatic clans. He's female. Oh! Money, please. 
great wisdom comes from those who study the world and learn from it. Your studies of the stars and other things beyond this world have taken you on very strange paths. And you learn. Oh, yes, it's your learning has increased immensely since you started. The stars are right. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Now both of them have enemies. I would search for Smith, but as I said, I want at least a thousand in reserve. Go here. Okay, I'm taking command. Thank you. Eleven twenty-one. It's March. Go here and loot this. When does that expire? Twenty-second of April next year. As luck would have it, is the owners going away? It is. Oh, uh, speaking of which, I think we need to upgrade our construction in order to upgrade our hospitals. Also, castle infrastructure. Seventy-five percent ahead of time penalty. We are more holy than you, Empire. Hey, look, England. Kidding, it's not England. They just have the same flag as everyone else. Ah! Sluis was filled with horses and cattle. Our raiders have rounded up a large flock in Main Square so that I can decide which ones to pick for myself and what to do with them. Well, I want money. That's why we are actually raiding this time. It's not to be become... What was it called again? Really? There must be some way to force open the defenses of Brook. With the control over both land and sea, I have a distinct advantage over the defenders of the fortress. I only need to think of a good idea. Well... A full assault from both land and sea seems like a great idea. With the attackers coming from both sea and land, the defenders of Boogie... Okay, it's called Brook, but I'm gonna call it Boogie because it sounds funny are unable to divide their attention between our assaults. My raiders are able to slip through their palestine and kill many before being repelled. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, 39. 45. Do I need to become celebrated? I mean, maybe I do, but later. This is for me, thank you very much. And you want me to loot this province? Very well, it shall be done for the glory of Germany. But we'll loot everything in between as well, so might as well start walking. Shall we go for troops morale? Now let's go with this one. Come on, assault. Assault. And let's actually order a smith for Jews. And we need to give away our sword.
the crown of sea, the golden sword. This one, you can have it. You can have this one. Uh, and you can have... Let's wait a bit. X plus two. You're finally certain, absolutely certain, there are things you understand now that lie beyond the ken of normal women. If they knew, oh, if they knew, but it is task of a scholar such as you to keep and preserve such things in secret. At least all of humanity goes insane with the knowledge of its own insignificance. I shall be devote devoted keeper of the Elder's secrets. Go ahead. Gained a mystic. And you can have this knife. It's basically the same as the axe, except not really. It's weaker in every single way. Okay, go here. So, do you like me now? Eh, kinda. Okay. And go this way. Let's imprison you. Hooray, more money for me. And more prisoners I've captured, apparently. That's nice. Good. Go here. Two thousand monies. Exactly what I wanted. I want more, but... You know, that's a good start. What's up with you? Against your tyranny. Huh. Who's going to inherit you, your kinswoman? Is she a German? Kinda. Wait. She's incapable. She's bedridden. Depressed. Has the flu. Oh, she's a goner, this one. Can I revoke one of your titles now? No, he will still rebel. During the last few days I have overheard the same conversation again and again. Apparently a most renowned goldsmith is traveling through Germania. Yeah, well, how can she or he, well, he, how can he not travel through Germania? It's half the world, basically. And my courtiers are prattling excitingly about his work. Perhaps I should invite the man and employ his services. Do it. The goldsmith, Fedrand, courteously accepted my invitation and arrived at court a mere week later. He has presented me with some sketches of his previous works and several letters of recommendations. I am, sh I am assured that his skills, although I ask myself just how much money can I spare to set the crowns and Jews. Oh <laughs> yeah, everything you've got. Okay, take this. A lot of peasants have been moving from the country to Mesembria lately. Your steward suggests building new roads in order to make it easier for the peasants to reach the center holding. He insists that this do that doing this, the country would become more prosperous. Well, I believe you, and I have the money, so might as well. 
It's amazing how much we've looted and we still haven't found that chest. Hmm. I cannot hear the sound of progress, but instead the sound of voices talking. I found Ferdinand and my daughter, Princess Beatrix, discussing different materials. Sure, why not? Wow, you became actually pretty decent. Can I recruit you? Yes. Let's get you married then. Or give you to someone. Who shall have the... Do you have all the consorts you need? No, you don't have a single concubine. Wonderful. This one's quick, and this one's the genius. Go ahead, you can have her. There you go. You are German, right? Yes, good. Trying to kill... I don't care. Here you can have this Christian woman. We care not for their gods. Nancy was filled with horses and cattle. Good. More money for me. How much money did I get from that? 39.9. You're not bothering my land, so that's fine. This is for you. And this is for you. By the way, since you were Viceroy, Pomerania... Can I grant you independence? No, because he's not at peace. Otherwise, I will be totally able to do that. You're Viceroy, right? He's a Germanic de jure vassal. Sure, whatever that means. Yes, good news, my Frau Kira. Ferdinand said excitingly. The goldsmith has informed me the precious metals and gemstones have been located in nearby provinces. If we send an expedition, it could increase the quality of the crown jewels we are currently crafting. Do it. Okay, 13,000 men. And I'm pregnant again. Isn't that nice? Eleven thousand, good. As the time passes, I feel more and more restless. The changes in my body are constant uh, constraining me. Making cart what were simple actions once. It has been days since I have been on the field. This is all so frustrating. Difficult pregnancy. What did you do? My dear husband, Telric, is worried about my current condition. He believes it might be better for me to retire from the public life for the duration of the pregnancy. I can leave someone else in charge of the affairs as I tend to myself. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go on the journey then. Leave for the countryside.
Few alive have more fearsome reputation than you, where many Vikings merely raid you destroy entire towns and castles, leaving none alive besides one to spread the tale of Hildegard the Ravager. Cool. Okay, we're not going there. Let's go directly here. And then let's move here. A new uprising. Ouch. Okay, stop dying. Oh, of course. 6,000, 6,000, 12,000. Uh, we need an organizer. I'm currently unavailable. As fortune would have it, those are not my troops, so I'll be fine. I thought being away from court and enjoying the clean air of the countryside would help me release some of the tension of this pregnancy, but it has only made things worse. My health is deteriorating by day. Okay. My pregnancy can get better or worse. Do it. Oh well, a Frankish girl. You're fine. That's the worst that can happen. I'm still waiting for my blacksmith to bring me the armor. Okay, thank you. You know, I think it's time for me to end this episode, so... This is where I'm gonna end it. Thank you all for joining me, and I'm gonna see you all next time. Goodbye.